are looking at the destruction from the earthquake and tsunami that hit Japan in March in a way you haven't seen before. This sonar image was taken by underwater robots operated by a team that included researchers from USF's Center for Ocean Technology. These aren't meant to just sit on a shelf somewhere, they're meant to be used and uh, to be able to travel to Japan and share some of the technologies that we have and our expertise to help them out was a neat experience. The team was led by Robin Murphy, a former USF scientist who heads the Center for Robot Assisted Search and Rescue at Texas A&M University. The USF Center for Ocean Technology is just fantastic and has been a leader in this type of practical use of robots for years. Accompanied by another former USF researcher, Eric Steimel, the group was invited to conduct a week of searches in two Japanese cities decimated by the disaster. As far as you could see, there was nothing but piles of rubble in some of the locations. Navigating debris congested water too dangerous for human divers, the robot surprisingly turned up no bodies. A negative result is still good because they know there is nothing out there, so they don't have to look. They also scanned a harbor area to make sure it was safe for fishing boats to pass through, a small victory for the researchers and the survivors. It lets them get back to some semblance of what they were doing beforehand. Uh, maybe it's part of the healing process. The team hopes to return to Japan soon for a longer mission. For University Beat, I'm Mark Schreiner. For more information on this University Beat or to view previous segments, log on to WUSF.org and click on the University Beat link.